coming up on Fresno State Focus, how you can tie the knot at Fresno State. Plus, affordable bowling is available to Fresno State students on campus. Hello and welcome to Fresno State Focus. I'm Lorena Franco. And I'm Josie Nava. 60 original illustrations from one of the most recognized and best loved series, The Little Golden Books, will be on loan from the National Center for Children's Literature, Abilene, Texas. Over 400 students across the Central Valley came to the Henry Madden Library, the Arnie Nixon Center for the Study of Children and Dr. Art, Fleming's Art Education class, put on the three-week exhibit. The Golden Threads, a journey through the picture book exhibit, includes artwork done by Sally Maver. Sally Maver, a 3D fabric relief artist, has original pieces from her book, Pocket Full of Posies. The exhibit will continue until the end of April on the second and third floor of the Henry Madden Library. Planning to tie the knot soon, the Smith Camp Alumni House is a perfect place for your future wedding. Jennifer Campos has more on the story. Each day, hundreds of Fresno State students walk past the Smith Camp Alumni House not knowing what is on the inside. Not only is the Smith Camp House home to the Fresno State Alumni Association, but it is also open for Fresno State alumni and friends to share their special wedding day. Using the patio, courtyard, and back lawn, the Smith Camp House can accommodate weddings up to 300 guests. Employee Ian Carabaron highly recommends the Smith Camp House for future weddings. It's very beautiful outside. And if you get a sunny day, there's nothing like it. When hosting a wedding on campus, the Smith Camp staff offers a full wedding package, including professional wedding planning services. Smith Camp Alumni House Manager Jennifer Bergres says through all the wedding excitement, they do what they can to keep the ceremony on schedule. A lot of excitement for all of the, the family members involved and of course for the bride. So, but with our wedding planning um, professionals, they help make everything go smoothly and run um, according to plan. The Smith Camp Alumni House is creative and flexible. It's the perfect place for your dream wedding. Not only does the Smith Camp staff help with the weddings, but they also get assistance from the support department. University Catering, uh, Plan Operations Department, who help uh, prepare the house for the wedding, make sure it's nice and clean and sparkling. Assistant Director Hank Charles is all about Bulldog Unity. I think it's a great place for uh, two, two Fresno State students to get married. Um, a lot of people had the passion, a lot of uh, students met here on campus, and um, we've heard a lot of people talk about how great it would be to get married on campus, and then also the theory of Bulldog, uh, Bulldog born and Bulldog wed. Jennifer Campos, Fresno State Focus. The results of the elections are in, and Fresno State has a new ASI president. Diana Aguilera has more on the story. A young man with big dreams, some even call him a leader. ASI newly elected President Moses Menchaca remembers the sweet memories of his small town childhood in Patterson. But from early on, Menchaca had a vision. There's not a lot of ambition in those areas. Uh, most students do go to the local community college and then kind of just sit around and enjoy the small town lifestyle. But I've always wanted more, and that's kind of driven me throughout my uh, tenure here at Fresno State. As a first-generation college student, Menchaca was determined to succeed, but he says he couldn't have done it without his family support. I have to give it to them for sticking with my crazy idea. You know, I want to do 25 units and 14 clubs, and they're right behind me. A third-year political science major previously served as the ASI senator and is president of three clubs on campus, including the Fresno State Gun Club an organization he created last year. Uh, within the last couple months, we've gained almost 100 student membership, one of the fastest growing organizations that the ASI coordinator said she has ever seen. The 20-year-old says some of his goals as president are to get more students involved and work towards a safer campus. Even though the elections are over, President Menchaca says students have many more responsibilities than just voting. Hold your representatives accountable for the things that they had said they were going to work on. Make sure that you're constantly checking up on them. Menchaca will succeed Arthur Montejano as ASI president June 1st, where the new representatives will take their oath of office. Diana Galera, Fresno State Focus. 
Fresno State students performed a night of jazz with some traditional oldies and a twist of new tunes. Crystal Hernandez has the story. It was quite a night for the Fresno State Jazz Orchestra and Jazz Ensemble. Dr. Alan Durst, the director, began the night with classics such as Groovin' High and I'm Beginning to See the Light. Durst says the students started practicing for tonight's concert in September. Of the year, yeah. They feel great. I'm really proud of them. You know, they're both bands are really great. I couldn't be more proud of them, and they you know, did a great job preparing the music, and I'm very proud of them. Durst says the jazz ensemble plays traditional tunes and the jazz orchestra explores new tunes. The Fresno State Jazz Band held their first concert of the year with special guest Chris Anderson, who just made his first trip out to California. Yeah, this is my first time here. This is the farthest I've been west, so it was kind of cool coming. It was a long trip. Anderson plays the trombone along with writing and performing many different styles of music. During the jazz concert, he joined the jazz orchestra with Harco Shuffle, Firm Roots, and ended with I've Got What? The Fresno State Jazz Orchestra and Jazz Ensemble performed a magical night for everyone to remember. Crystal Hernandez, Fresno State Focus. College is the time for young adults to gain independence and take that step to living on their own. Whether from near or far, students can smoothly transition into their college lives with student living. Viola Malone has more on Fresno State student living. Student housing makes the transition from home into adulthood much easier for students. There are many student living options available. For example, there are on-campus options like community and suites style dorms that help students adjust to life on their own. Being three minutes from classes, uh, that's the best thing about living on campus is just being right there. Some of the advantages of living on campus is having everything you need less than five minutes away. There are also off-campus housing options for students like Palazzo at Campus Point in Bulldog Village. Maintenance worker and residential assistant Jermaine Delgado has experienced both the working and living side of Bulldog Village. We may be the oldest around here, but we got definitely the family atmosphere, the you know the networking of the students. I feel like we have the most mingling amongst our residents. Like Fresno State senior and current Bulldog Village resident Lauren Beal has lived both on and off of campus, and says there are many perks to both. I would say they each had different things to offer. Uh, for right now, though, Bulldog Village is the best place for me to be. Bulldog Village is calm. It provides kind of a nice atmosphere. Not too much parties, but upperclassmen, so I really like my experience here. Not only does Bulldog Village feel like home, but also is located across the street from campus on Bulldog Lane and Cedar Avenue. Viola Malone, Fresno State Focus. Making the move from home can either be an easy or hard experience. Here to talk a little bit about her transition from home is sophomore and criminology major Jeanette Carrillo. Hi Jeanette, thanks for joining us. Hi. So can you tell us a little bit about how you came up with your decision to move on your own? Um, I was actually driving back and forth just commuting Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays and I had two friends from Colinga, which is where I live. Mm -hmm. and. They already had an apartment here, and they, their roommate moved out, so they needed somebody else, and I kind of just went in there and moved in. So do you think um, living with roommates made it easier to make that change from home? Um, yeah, it made it easier because uh, I had known them for a long time already, so it was just a comfort zone, and I kind of like brought home with me. So do you feel that it would have been harder without old friends from Kalinga? Yeah, it would have definitely been a lot harder to come into um, somewhere to live with new people that I've never met before. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I like family almost. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. And so how was it leaving your family and friends behind, like your other family and friends? It was really hard because I'm really attached to my family. So we were like tangoing and FaceTiming still constantly a lot. <laughs> and so what apartments did you choose to move in um well they already had apartments at Tory Ridge but we're looking into new ones this semester um they're behind doghouse 
Um, and I'm not okay. sure what they're called. Okay. Um, so what advice would you give to an incoming freshman who plans on living on their own? Um, save your money and budget well because you get a little bit of money and you go crazy and then you don't have enough for bills. Okay. Well, thank you, Jeanette. Thanks for talking with us. I'm sh sure many students have had similar experiences, so it's good you got to share your story. People have a chance to bowl on campus and save money doing it. Nate DeLeon has more on the story. The Fresno State Rec Center is a good place to strike out. That is, at a game of bowling. Students and staff alike enjoy the great prices and they also enjoy the friendly environment. Student assistant Ellie Aiken is here during spring break enjoying the game with Fresno State staff. Yeah, I would definitely come, come and uh, recommend people to come out. It's much less, like, less expensive than the other bowling alleys and uh, it's good quality fun. Like if you don't, if there are crazy people running around, it's a lot of fun. I love it. The bowling alley is open seven days a week and games start as cheap as two fifty per student. Steve Martin is a student at Fresno State and he comes here to improve his game. Um, it's, it's nice. I, it, uh, one of the things I like about it is it's a smaller bowling alley, so I mean, um, you have less people here and less noise, less traffic. A good way to save money this spring break is to come out here to the Fresno State Bowling Alley. Whether you're a student, a teacher, or just a regular person, you can come and bowl with your friends or your family for a really good price. For those that don't like bowling, there are pool tables and arcade available to kill some time during your break. Jordan Leisure has worked for the rec center for over three years and has some really simple but honest advice. You can come out and have fun. It's cheap. It's the cheapest in town. I mean, that's about it. <laughs> Nate DeLeon, Fresno State Focus. One student has his sights on helping others raise their game to the next level. Plus, the red wave hits nationals in Texas. Sports is up next with Andrea Cioteco. I am Fresno State, and I'm going to show you why. Here's the beautiful and newly constructed Henry Madden Library, which has a massive collection. The Save Mart Center, which is our sports venue and one of the best attended in the entire country. We're absolute pioneers in the agricultural sciences, having led to the production of the first university winery and drawing in a diversity of students to achieve academic success over the past 100 years. And you know, I wish I had time to tell you about everything else, but in reality, I think you're just going to have to come see for yourself. This season marks the fifth year of women's lacrosse at Fresno State. Cody Akers has the inside look on how the season is going so far. With lacrosse progressing on the West Coast, the sport is still new to our university. Under head coach Jessica Poswing, she knows success doesn't grow overnight and has a team full of young and old leaders. I think as a team, you know, we've come a long way since last year. I'm just looking at, you know, how we played against Cal last year and where we are now. I think. We're stronger. I think our freshman class has made an impact right away. Our seniors have done a really good job leading them and showing them where we want to go as a program. The first home and conference game of the year was against the Cal Berkeley Golden Bears. Katie Wilbur says it's bittersweet to be a senior, but the hard work pays off. Each day it's the last one. Each day it's the last first home game, you know. Um, it makes you cherish every moment, but uh, I want to step up and be the senior leader for the team and. Uh, you know, take care of business in there. Freshman Angelica Fuxila leads the team with 11 goals. She is grateful to score goals, and her success is fueled by the whole team's effort. Even though I get all the goals, it really is my whole entire team. We work as an attacking unit. We do everything together. And you know what? We all practice, we all practice hard. We all play hard. And we all know how to finish our goals. I mean, it's great to know that I'm um, making a difference on this team already as a freshman. With almost half the team being freshmen, the future is bright for this growing sport. 
but there is no time for the team to dwell on what is behind them. Cody Akers, Fresno State Focus. It's not unusual for college students to have a part-time job, but one Fresno State student is trying to turn his current job into a career for the future. Jessica Harrington tells us how one student is trying to fulfill his lifetime dream. It's 8.30 in the morning on the Friday of spring break. While most Fresno State students are vacationing or relaxing, David Trejo is pursuing his dream of becoming a strength and conditioning coach. After you're done with this, you can for alternating and kind of running in place. Go. Ready, go. Go. It's a normal routine for Trejo. He likes to get up early and make the most of his day. His life is all about fitness and helping others. Like me, I'm not. For, I wasn't fortunate enough to make it into you know professional sport or anything like that. But if I'm training a kid, and you know, I can see the kid you know develop through X amount of years or X amount of time, and then he and he goes on to become a professional player. That's kind of like he's living that dream for me. As a full-time Fresno State student with a part-time job. Trejo, who likes to be called Trey, uses his free time to help others succeed athletically. Trejo says the typical workout in the gym, lifting weights and running on a treadmill, is boring. He would prefer to go outside and do something a little different. Like what about, you know, going somewhere to like a to like a water park, go finding a hill, go running up a hill, and when you get to the top, you have these two conditioning ropes that you're slamming on the ground. That's a full body workout in itself. He uses what he has learned through the kinesiology program at Fresno State to train his athletes. Christian Mata is one of Trejo's trainees. He hopes to play football professionally one day with the help of Trejo. He enjoys working out with him for the physical and mental training. This guy will crack some jokes at you and he's going to talk a lot of mess just to get in your head. Mata, come on, man. I can't be wasting all my spirals. Don't mess up my ladder, man. But that's the part I'm talking about, mental training. I mean, he'll... He'll go the funny route or he'll go the hard route. He'll, he'll tell you, like, if you're doing something wrong, he'll tell you. If you don't look fast, he'll tell you because he wants you to get to the next level. Trejo says through hard work and determination, everyone can and will reach success. Like, you know, success is going to come. You know, it might not come, you know, right away. It might not come in your time. You know, you might not even be alive when it comes, but it'll come one day. For more fitness inspiration, you can follow Trejo on Twitter and Instagram. Jessica Harrington, Fresno State Focus. Construction has begun on the Myers Family Sports Medicine Center at Fresno State. The new facility is located east of Bulldog Stadium. It will be home to state-of-the-art equipment including hydrotherapy pools and a larger treatment space for the student-athletes. Trainers and athletes are excited about the new project and say that having more space is something to look forward to. The $6.7 million project was made possible because of generous donations from alumni and the Myers Family Foundation. The center is not scheduled to open until next spring. The Red Wave Volleyball cl Club traveled to Texas to compete in the National Club Volleyball Tournament over the weekend. The Wave beat UC Santa Barbara in, a, in two straight sets to, on Saturday to capture the title. The club's, it's the club's third national title since winning in 2004 and 2009. Chris Hughes was named tournament MVP and Hunter Knight was received an all-tournament first team honors. Coach Brian Sugimura picked up his 400th career win over the weekend. Here to talk about the recent trip to nationals is senior Hunter Knight. Thank you for joining us, Hunter. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me. So can you tell us a little bit about your trip to Texas this past weekend? Uh, well, it was an incredible trip that ended just the way we wanted it to. We all had an awesome time and always a good time going to Texas. And you were part of the 2009 team. Can you t tell me a little about, bit about your experiences there and did they translate to your win here? Absolutely. It was a lot different in 2009 being a freshman on that team. On, in 2009 we had a core solid group of fifth year seniors and I was one of the freshmen this time. I was on the flip side of that coin. We had a bunch of fifth year seniors as well and only one or two freshmen, but it was uh, definitely a different experience being in the, the older group, but the, the ex uh, experience I had in that championship match certainly made a big difference being there again. And uh, this, at the beginning of the season, you started 16 strong and you ended up with only eight players. How do you feel? Can you tell me a little about, bit about that? Well, we were bummed out that people were not wanting to stay committed to our team and everything, but in the end, it kind of helped us all come together, battle through the adversity, as we knew even though we had people quitting, that with the people we had left still had a chance to win this tournament, and it, it, it ended up working out in our favor because it, it just brought us all closer together. 
And um, how do you feel about the future of your club with the win? Oh, the future's bright. The Valley has great men's volleyball feeding system. There's great high school volleyball here. And uh, I think in the near future, Fresno State will remain a, a, very, a powerhouse team. Um, do you think that, oh, okay. Um, actually, we've been talking to Hunter Knight and that's all we have time for sports. Back to Lorena and Josie. Coming up on Fresno State Focus, a prof one professor's dream just came true. Plus, Fresno State seniors are one step closer to graduating. That and much more when we return. Are you hooked? Ladies all over the Central Valley are hooked on Charming Charlie. Charming Charlie sells all kinds of fabulous accessories, from toe rings to sunglasses and trendy handbags to sparkling lanyards. And let's not forget about their fabulous boot line. It's the one-stop shop for all your fall favorites. Charlie's friendly charmers are here to assist you with all your fashion needs. So get hooked on Charming Charlie, located off Shaw at the Fashion Fair Mall. It's every writer's dream to get published. For one Fresno State professor, that dream has become a reality twice over. Zach Edwards has the story. For as long as he can remember, Fresno State professor Alex Espinoza has only wanted to do one thing, write. Before his writing journey began, he got his degree at UC Riverside and his master's at UC Irvine. Ever since then, he's been living his dream of being an author. He published his first book in 2007 called Stillwater Saints. Around that same time, he came to Fresno State to teach creative writing. Espinoza followed the advice given him by one of his professors. She said, you know, you have to put yourself in a, in a place where you can now, you know, help um, other writers find, young writers find their voice. Just like I held the door open for you, now it's your turn to hold the door open for other people. Nearly six years later, Espinoza is releasing his second book, The Five Acts of Diego Leon. The story is based off an idea he had while writing his first book, but took longer to write since he had to balance between writing and teaching. Espinoza now takes what he's learned from his writing career to help the next generation of writers. Espinoza says if students want to become published writers, they need to read a lot of good, solid American literature. But that's not all it'll take. We write something uh, with the hope of changing the world a little bit, and the only way that we can do that is by sharing what we've written. And so you have to be willing to part with it and you have to be willing to let other people read it and tell you what they think. For grad students taking his classes, the ability to have a published writer critique their work is beyond helpful. Credibility to, um, to his teaching, to his advice, uh, and just to him as a, as a, I mean, as a published author, you know, we get to ask him all kinds of questions every week, so it's, it's fun. This semester, Espinoza is teaching two grad-level courses, Form and Theory of Fiction and the Graduate Fiction Workshop. If you're interested in Espinoza's books, they're both on sale now. Zach Edwards, Fresno State Focus. Graduation is only one month away and students are starting to gear up. The Smith Cup Alumni House is helping students prepare by giving out grad boxes. Jared Kyle has a story. On the corner, and to seniors that only means one thing, graduation. Graduating senior Cameron Hilaire is just counting down the days. I'm very excited. Uh, it represents the uh, next chapter in my life, uh, ready for the career world, and uh, basically I'm not going to lie, ready to make some money. <laughs> Students from all majors were crowding the front of the Kendall Bookstore to receive their own personal grad box. They say good things come in small packages. Well, the best thing comes in this one package right here. Help from workers and volunteers, grad boxes were moving at an alarming speed. A little less than 1,500 boxes were put together throughout the two-day event. Assistant Director of Student and Alumni Engagement Blair Smithcamp said she is 
beyond happy with how well the boxes turned out. I'm ecstatic with the grab boxes. We have two left to sell um, after all of these students uh, pay for theirs, and uh, we've sold out of 13, 1350. So uh, we did a 35% increase of what we did last year, and um, I really couldn't be happier. Even though students thought the boxes were a clever idea, some students think for the high price of $75 and $95, more items could have been added. Well, for that price, it's a little scary to see how empty the boxes really are, but, you know, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, really. One thing we are sure of, though, is that there's another door opening after Fresno State's closes. Jared Kyle, Fresno State Focus. For seniors, the clock is ticking and graduation is just around the corner. Joining us today is Assistant Director of Alumni Engagement, Blair Smithkamp. Thank you for stopping by, Blair. Thank you so much for having me. So can you tell me, what were your responsibilities with the Grad Box? Well, as the Assistant Director of Alumni Engagement, I'm in charge of getting our um, young alumni involved and engaged with the Alumni Association and with our graduating students. They will be our future alumni. And um, so we just kind of wanted to get them connected and show them that we're here and get them excited about graduating and becoming an alumni. So I see you brought the grad box. I did. What exactly was inside of the grad box? Um, inside of the grad box, kind of one of the fun things is as soon as you open it, it plays Pom Pom Circumstance, so that graduation song that everyone knows about. Um, you get a commemorative alumni license plate frame, a commemorative 2013 t-shirt, um, a coupon book, a magnet set, a cap decorating kit, and an invitation to our cap decorating party that we'll be having in May at the alumni house for everyone to decorate their caps and show their personality. Oh, that sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. And who created these grad boxes? Um, the Alumni Association team. Um, along with our team at ProScreen, we um, came up with the box. We started the grad box last year kind of um, as an introduction, and this year we kind of classed it up and vamped it up a little bit. So we have pictures of Victor E, and it says, you know, class of 2013. So it's kind of a great commemorative box for all of the graduates to be able to put um, all of their cards and thank you notes and everything inside the box once they graduate. So it was a two-day event. Would you say that the grad boxes were popular? Incredibly. Last year we sold out of 1,000 boxes, and this year we increased um, by 35%, and so we sold um, 1,350. We pre-sold half of them um, the week prior to GradFest, and uh, it, was, it was a huge success. It was a great win for the Alumni Association. Okay. Well, thank you for stopping by, Blair. We have been talking to Blair Smithkamp. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Fresno State explored advances in technology that are helping the disabled. A man and a woman spoke at an event on campus about how their lives have been transformed. Here's Alex Garcia with more on the story. The Friends of the Madden Library hosted a lecture around this semester's theme, Technology and Culture, Progress or Peril. A two-person panel came together to discuss how new technology has transformed their lives. Jennifer Winveen was paralyzed in a medical accident. As a Fresno State alumna, she frequently speaks at the university about her experience. She says wheelchair technology has helped disabled people gain more confidence. Things have changed a lot for, for people in wheelchairs, and it's not like it used to be back when our parents never saw anybody out in a wheelchair. And now all of a sudden, we're everywhere. Winveen just graduated from Fresno State with her master's in rehabilitation counseling. She is also an academic coach at Wayfinders on campus. Uh, we have, our program works with students with intellectual disabilities from the ages of 18 to 25. The students live um, independently over at the palazzos, and then we have them um, enrolled in classes through global ed, continuing global ed. Jennifer helps students with their academic work and helps place them in jobs through a vocational program. She says her message to the community is to treat everyone equally. We're just like anybody. I'm like anybody else, I'm just in a wheelchair. Stephen Frazier also spoke at the event about his experiences with new technology. Frazier lost his sight at age 45 and now works at the Valley Center for the Blind. Frazier says his transition was made easier through technology such as the iPhone. I think the, the voiceover mechanism on the iPhone has allowed me now to use my voice to talk speech and make texts, um, to, do, uh, to make emails the same, the same way. The Friends events are held inside the Henry Madden Library. Like many other programs offered through the library, the Friends events are open to the public. Colleen Mitchell is a member of the board for the Friends of the Madden Library. Mitchell says they welcome all members of the community to become a friend. She's glad to have everybody. 
We would really like to have more students. Members of the community can become friends of the library through a donation and can then attend Friends events for free. Events begin with a small reception with drinks and appetizers, followed by a panel of speakers like the Assistive Technology event. Alex Garcia, Fresno State Focus. Next week on Fresno State Focus, we'll have an inside look on the Disney internship. Wow, a Disneyland internship, that sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? It does sound like a lot of fun. It also sounds like a great opportunity for people to go and see what it's Disney all about. Yeah. Yep. You know, too bad we're all graduating seniors. That is just too bad. Well, that's it for us. We'll see you back here next week. Thank Bye. you. Goodbye.